We might all have encountered the susu box one way or the other. As young boys and girls, our parents gave us susu box to save the coins we earned, either doing chores or running errands. And what little money was dashed us when family and friends came visiting. This was to instill a savings culture and also discipline. The box was wooden, square, and had a small opening where you slide the coin in or fold the note in a very tiny way and push it in. This way of saving was very popular with children and old folk. Is it still an alternative to saving in modern Ghana? I caught up with these cool children. Me, I don't keep money. That's why. Me, if I get small money, I'll eat. That's why. If they give me money for school, I will leave some and go home and I'll go and keep it inside the box. If I need something, I will, pay, I will remove it and buy some of the things I need. If I keep if I, if I need money, and I go, I go and give it to my mother. But despite the knowledge of the susu box, a few students said they preferred other forms of savings. As for the susu box, many people have been using it to me. I don't, get, I don't have the interest on that. So that's why I found a way and to be saving in a mobile money account. And that's the easy way for me. Mm, I, I save my money in the uh, Susu in Newtown. It's a company that you can go and do your daily Susu saving there. But the box continues to be of great importance to many, including this roasted plantain seller, Sarah, who says she has been able to make extra cash during lean seasons using the box. I save the little money that I find myself not using it at the moment. I put it inside. I started for about two years now, but that was last year. I took some money out and went and used it for some things. Meanwhile, Akwesi Ajiman is a native of Kumasi who resides in Accra and has been producing nearly attractive susu box with cardboard for over two years now. It does not fetch much, but it affords him three square meals a day, a roof over his head, and some cash to send back home to his family in Kumasi. He migrated to Accra in search of an elusive job and had to creatively come up with this idea. Akwesi Ajiman has about 30 employees whom he pays 600 Ghana CDs each month. Akwesi's business is thriving because people still patronize the susu box, especially this newly adopted style. On a good day, he makes a minimum of 200 Ghana CDs and a maximum of 350 Ghana CDs. He wants government to develop something around this in the one district, one factory project. Yao Dennis confesses his job saved him from becoming an armed robber.